Hi there. Ugh. Wait, is that off? Can you turn it off? Uh, it's just a live stream. I'm not recording a video. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can turn it off though. I, I can't. It's like a live, it's a live stream. I, it's not recording. Don't worry, it's not recording or anything. So what is it doing? Um, I'm just talking to my friends. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I just, I'm just exploring LA and so they're just watching. How was your night? Good, how was your night? Good, good, good. Caroline. Sebastian. Sebastian, nice to meet you. You were looking for Caroline, right? Yeah, wh where, where are you visiting from? From Washington, D.C.? Oh, D.C. Well, I live here. Oh my god, that's awesome. Are you an Uber? No. Oh my god, drop me off. But, uh, okay. Let's do this. That part of my life that I never got to experience, let's do it now. I mean, I, I don't know if there will be any magic with it. I'm hoping. So how do I know this is legit? By the way, Apple has a serial code check online where you can input it and uh, it'll warn you if the phone was never activated and this one was not. So you know, I know I didn't get scammed again. And uh, I just seen did these kind of videos. So I personally wanted to do it and experience the joy of opening a phone I never have. And as you can see, this thing is really starting to show its age. It's got like tears already holes, but this is it. Ooh, it slides out pretty nicely. And just like that, it is off. And I got scammed. Wow. So, like, come on. I bought this so long ago, I can't even do anything about it, but. Now when you're filleting a fish, use a very flexible, sharp knife because let the knife do the work. And a brew like this actually comes with its own instructions because all you have to do is follow the lines. So we start from the head and come in, cut round the head and then just one clean sweep down that line and just go all the way down to the tail. And look what happens. The knife actually cuts away the fillet Every drawer should have these four very simple, straightforward knives. The filleting knife that does the work for you. That's a flexible blade that... Oh, f me. <laughs> to be injured in the line of duty when I, went to, when I joined the military. Nobody forced me to join the military. I was prepared to be killed in action. What I wasn't prepared for, Mr. Prime Minister, is Canada have, turning its back on me? So which veteran was it that you were talking about? Thank you, sir. Thank you for your uh, passion and your strength and being here today to share this uh, justifiable frustration and anger with me and with all of us here. Uh, thank you for having the courage to stand here uh, and thank you for listening to my answer on a couple of elements you brought up. First of all, uh, why are we still uh, fighting against certain uh, veterans groups in court? Uh, because uh, they are asking for more than we are able to give right now. You use that kit, right? You have to do certain challenges, complete them, for right. example, exchange players that you just packed. We just packed some of these players. Right. We put them in a SBC. You submit. And watch this, James. Claim reward. Wait for it. Bang. <gasps> Look at that. And now you can use that kit in game. Oh, just your team. Your team. Yeah, just. Oh, I saw a picture of Ronaldo. I, <laughs> didn't, go Ronaldo. <laughs> I didn't realize we'd got a new T-shirt. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sorry, is that what we're really excited about? That we've got a new t shirt? But look, it's an Xbox branded. Guys, edition, you're not going to believe this. We've just got a new t shirt to wear. Yeah. Have you ever met footballers? Can okay. you imagine walking into a dressing room and going, guys, you're not going to believe it? <laughs> Who wants a new t shirt? Well, this is a bit awkward oh. because right down here, as if it's leapt off the screen, we have your very own. Xbox kit. Wow. There you are, that's for you, James. I, Congratulations. We got you a new t shirt. We got you a new t shirt. Wait.
next up, this guy. His company also offered a $29 deal, but after a quick look around, that $29 deal went way up. It's gonna be 235.40. This time, we told him to go ahead and do the job. He lugged this huge vacuum into the house. When I'm out of sight, our experts say he's not doing much at all on the second floor. The vacuum should be on, it's not even on. In this room, he doesn't even pull off the vent. He just sprays the dust with compressed air. If there's a lot of dust and stuff in there, it's going all over the room. And up in the attic, he barely does a thing, just waves his air compressor wand for a second. And just wiggled the wand in there like he was cleaning it. He didn't do anything. The vacuum's been off the whole time. But when he came downstairs in front of me, it was a different story. He brings out the brushes and the big vacuum and seems to be doing a good job. Do you have to do this with every vent? Yeah. After he packed up all his equipment, it was time to ask a few questions. I'm not really the homeowner. My name's Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. Did you actually clean everything you said you were supposed to clean? He was in no mood to stick around. Did you just rip me off? In my time here, um, I thought I'd heard everything. Then Jeff delivered an incredible revelation about his dad, the Messiah. God came down on Michael and forced him to consummate with Christiana. Michael had made no mention of sleeping with his son's wife. And I got the feeling this was a story I wasn't supposed to hear. And when Michael found out I knew, he asked me for an opportunity to explain just how God had made it happen. Suddenly, I was forced down on the floor, and I had to get down. I was down just about like this. And I was in pain, and all I could do was groan. All I could do was kind of rock. And I, I started seeing that the consummation with Christiana was imminent and I was going to be, um, I was going to have to do that. So was it just a single occasion, this literal physical consummation? No, it wasn't. So you, you consummated more than once? Yes, yes. Now why is it necessary to consummate more than once? has been to write a book. I have been a bookworm since the minute I could read, it's all I did. All I did was read. Books are still, to me, so special and so important. When I was younger, I used to write short stories all the time. When all my friends would be out playing, I would come home and sit on my computer because I was writing a book. It was just something that I loved to do. So, Penguin contacted me a while back, like, hey, have you ever, you know, thought about writing a book? And I was like, oh, of course, like, I would absolutely love to write a book. I would love to have something that I've done myself um, that, you know, has come from my brain and gone into pages and people can buy it. Yeah, he's in lovely. He's really funny. I get on with him on like a level, do you know what I mean? She's good looking, yeah, she's good looking, but yeah, 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 I've smashed it. I've got it if I want it, I think, yeah. You right, babes? You're in playing with the salt and pepper or something? I don't know. The air con, it just... Well, just blew it, just blew it away. Yeah. I'm a cool person, I don't need aircon. You're on point with your one-liners as well, aren't you? Can I be really personal? Got this in. is really personal. How many boys have you slept with? Sorry? If you want me to take that back, I'll take it back straight away. How many boys have I slept I'm with? I'm, in I'm intrigued. Hold on, I can't believe you just asked me that on really? the first you night. You seem a little bit taken back by that. Honestly, what's going through your mind? I was just asking you a question. Of how many boys I slept with on a first date? I'm just giving you... <laughs> I the love the mansplaining. I'm enjoying it. You're loving what? The mansplaining that's going on. 
What's what? Well, you just mean? talking me through how how what well you, by you, not answering the question what by you, what you, what repeating suggesting? processes which are not related to the question that I've asked. What's, what's so mansplaining, what's Senator? Well, it's the slightly patronising and condescending way that you're responding to my questions. Well, I would suggest, Senator, that if you're putting the word man in front of uh, some description of what I'm doing, you're doing that which I'm sure you're very much against, is making a, a sexist implication about how I'm conducting my role well, as a man. Well, then the easiest that way what, to do is it... What, is that what well, you're saying, Senator? Well, what I'm saying is that the way you've been responding to me has been patronising and condescending. Imagine the reaction, Senator, if I said you were woman-splaining. You're saying that I'm mansplaining. Well, it is a term that's used. Is it when, by whom? Well, by it rude, is a term that's used. By rude... Doesn't, doesn't make By rude senators. Uh, by senators no. who are seeking to make gender an issue. Stop being a hypocrite. Well, Conduct yourself appropriately for this well, place. I'm sorry you're so offended by the use of the word. It is, it is a word that's used. Uh, it's, it's a, I'm surprised that you're so shocked by the use of the word. No, I'm, um, just, I'm just calling hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Well, so first, keep your hands clean. This is one of the most important steps you can take to avoid getting sick and spreading germs to others. And always cover your cough and stay home when you're sick. Today, start working on not touching your face because one main way viruses spread is when you touch your own mouth, nose, or eyes. Before I go on, I want to be uh, candid and let you know that this investigation... Mm. No, <laughs> don't make fun of it, Brendan. This is a big deal. Why? Because this forest is also known as the Sea of Trees, also known as the Japanese Suicide Forest. Why do I have to be in this part? This is not a f***ing joke. They make movies about this place. They write books about this place. People legitimately come here to commit suicide. You can't say that at a suicide forest. Yeah, when I rolled up. Just a couple of dumb Americans going camping in a suicide forest. I really hate to say this. I think there's someone hanging right there. I'm not even kidding. Do you see it? I'm not even, this isn't a oh. joke, guys. This is definitely a verse for me. Very good. Yeah, I don't feel good. Well, you never, you never stand next to a dead guy? No. It was all, it was gonna be a joke. Yeah. It's not something I really planned on doing. Yeah, yeah. What the f I've seen things I can't unsee. We found a dead body. Yo! You guys got a dead guy in your forest. Four knots southeast. Four knots? Yeah. That's the speed. This daily vlog life. I have one piece of advice, okay? Listen closely. Uh, don't go over there. <laughs> Definitely don't go over there. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most real vlog I've ever made. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven. Is he, is he, I mean, how come everyone's attracted to the man, and yet he would be the worst person to go out with? Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe girls are attracted to a typical bad boy, maybe, yeah. but I don't think he knows what he wants. And I think it's a good lesson when everyone's watching. Yeah, definitely. To just avoid those types. Um, yep, to treat a girl right. Hayley, have you ever read The Brief History of Time by Professor Stephen Hawking? Oh, <laughs> a Brief History of Time. Is that history? It's a study into black holes. Uh, oh, no, Stephen I'm not Hawking. interested in no. that. Time. Do you know Pythagoras' theorem to the nearest five no. decimal places? Do you? What's your favourite colour? Do you? Colour. Colour. Do you know um, the, the Pythagoras' theorem to the nearest actually, five yeah. decimal Three point one four seven is certainly the first four digits. So, <laughs> I would like to read far more headlines, okay, that say rapist shot dead in a ditch by a woman with a 38 special than woman raped on campus because of some concealed carry law. Okay. Well, okay? So I don't, I don't like want female more victims. Headlines that have nothing to do with rapists. You know? I would exactly. You know, why do why But how do you stop why it? Why do you have to carry Rape is a illegal. Gun to kill a male f***ing rapist? When that male could just not rape in the first place. I know. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Wouldn't it, it would be, be fucking great? Yeah. Do you know why? Women Wouldn't it be are great so... if men didn't rape? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you arguing with? You're Don Quixote fighting windmills, man. Being like, we're not in the public system. It's
right here. You're not allowed to interrupt this shit like that. This is important. You're actually allowed I to interrupt in a parliamentary system. You're talking to someone who comes to Canada. We have a parliamentary system. <laughs> Shut the fuck up with facts. Thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. You all have been together for two years. In fact, today is your two-year anniversary. Oh. All right, Ms. Reichen, why are you here? I'm here to defend myself, to claim my innocence. He knows I'm not cheating. He's being ridiculous. This is our two-year anniversary, and I'm here in court when I should be getting flowers and chocolate. Oh. <laughs> her phone was dead, and she needed a charger. She told me to go look through her purse. So I went to go look for the charger in her purse, and I found three Magnum condoms. Oh. And where she hides her, uh, where she hides her cards. And I took, I said, what are these? Where did these come from? And she got these from the doctor. And I said, you know, the doctor doesn't give away Magnum condoms, I'm pretty sure. Do you use Magnum? Uh, no, at the doctor, I grabbed a handful of condoms for us. It was very innocent. I think he's just not appreciating me enough. He's a <laughs> leprechaun and I'm his pot of gold. He looks like a kneecap with hair. Yo. He's not going to be getting other girls. I'm not worried. Uh, you about say he's not gonna get any other girls. He got you? I'm the best that he's ever got. So what kind of doctor's office is giving out Magnum condoms? Uh, this was a very fancy doctor's office. No doubt. Clearly, yeah. <laughs> and because of that, he believes she's cheating, and if she's cheating, he's done. Yeah, I'm out. Is there anything you need to tell him? Because we're gonna get the results. Mm -hmm. And these results don't lie. No, but I have nothing you... to say. The results don't lie, but the question is, do you? Hmm. We'll find no. out. Oh. All right, Mr. Wolf? No, you gonna find out. <laughs> the day your boyfriend Matthew found condoms in your purse, did you buy those condoms to have sexual intercourse with another man? No. The forensic voice analysis determined that she was being deceptive, Your Honor. I no, 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 no. I don't believe that. Um, I'm done with this relationship. <laughs> that, that's the, I'm pissed. That's the best you can do. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You escort her out. Yeah. For example, for success is failure. Yes. Um, the Seattle Police Department has eight different oversight boards. Eight? The I Seattle Police 12. Department's oversight boards are designed uh -huh. explicitly so that police cannot be brought up on charges. Right. They're so that, that, that's the failure of capitalism. And it does what it's, so yeah, it does what it's supposed it to do, but it what does, it's supposed to do right. is right. And that, that's the failure of capitalism. Right. Okay. So the failure of capitalism is that when it, even when it's working the way it's supposed to, uh -huh. people still get hurt. And that's uh -huh. still not succeeded. Not succeeded. Because it's not, because individuals are still being repressed. I see. And that is what capital, capitalism is inherently an oppressive uh huh. System. And the communism is inherently a what system? Successful. And Successful. Not it's, it's the point of communism is liberation. So it's a society that puts people's common needs before individual selfishness. And when was the last time that the communist system ever succeeded? It was its failures.